Coakley Fieldhouse. A place that demands your best performance. A place that has set the standard for over 40 years. Growing up, we dreamed of playing on this court. Under the same bright lights. In front of those same fans. Now we're here with the same goal. To bring championships back to Coakley. Welcome inside of a Coakley Fieldhouse. Coakley was a huge part of my successes. Um, it was the place where I spent many hours and hard work preparing for games. It's a home that represents love, pride, commitment, tradition, teamwork, strength, and respect for others. Uh, Coakley Fieldhouse is amazing. Um, I spend a lot of time there, uh, sometimes uh, more than 14 hours a day. You no, know, it has its own peculiarities that are true of all gyms. One thing I loved about it was the seating was so close to the floor. Coakley is an amazing place to, to coach in when the crowd gets going. The noise level is really, really intense and my ears will finally stop ringing about Sunday. You know, games where it's extremely loud to the point that players can't even hear me. Well, we kind of had to change our philosophy a little bit. Instead of just yelling out plays or defenses, we had to come up with hand signals and, and different things to communicate with the kids. It was an unbelievable atmosphere. It felt similar to a college uh, setup. You feel like you have an extra teammate on your side. And well, Coakley's unique in that uh, it's such an enclosed environment. Uh, the gym is small. Uh, the student body is fantastic here, and they seem like they're right on top of you. And just the, the closeness to the floor. Uh, with, you know, with the light shining down on you and so many people in there. And coming out, literally every hair on your arm stood up, and, and you couldn't, it was impossible not to get fired up to play a game. You know, it's a total body experience. Be a part of it. Well, I think the uh, term Coakley Crazies really came into play in the mid-90s and it just continued to build throughout that uh, season. And uh, it just seemed like by the time the JV games were at halftime, it was standing room only for most of our home games. And, you know, I can remember when they had to put the TVs in outside because they had to turn away people. The fire marshal wouldn't let anybody else in. My junior year, that the year we went undefeated, I know that they stopped letting people in at one point, uh, just, just how packed it was. So it was, um, those, those four years were, were very, very special. Liberty is 30 and 0. They look for a state title tomorrow. Jefferson almost had the steal. Robinson from about 16, got it. 42-41, Liberty. The lob to Archibald. Jack Smith was known as Liberty's Mr. Blue Jay, and I think that that name couldn't fit him more. Jack was uh, always fun to talk to, always enthusiastic, um, always positive. I don't think Jack ever missed a game, and I've never seen a guy so happy to talk about the Blue Jays on Saturday morning at Hy-Vee. As we did our starting lineup, I, I can still see Jack at the end of the line and everybody going out, and we always tried to smack Jack's hand as hard as we could, just to kind of, you know, he, he loved it. He sat out there on one knee, gave us the five, and that's one of the things I'll always remember there, too. You know, I always enjoyed watching Jack shoot baskets during halftime, and the crowd cheering him on when he would make them. At halftime, Jack would do his little dance and entertain the crowd. Uh, I call a play, and he'd echo call it, too. So just uh, some great memories of, of him and 
uh, we miss him and he would just if you were here today he would just love the experience of uh, February 27th in our last game there. You know, his memory is definitely going to live on. You walk to the gym and you see the wall of champions and then you enter the gym and there's banners and banners and banners everywhere. I didn't realize how intimidating it was and how prideful that gym is. You know, it's not the biggest gym and it doesn't have all the newest things, but I think sometimes um, that's what makes a gym so special is its character and its history. It meant a ton to me and a ton of pride, and that was home. It's a place where good things happen. Watching some of the kids, when I seen them, when they first come here as, as sophomores, and they get up to seniors and see how they, they again got better, and then uh, see how some grow up. Our guys and our program, we're ecstatic about our new venue too. Um, it's well deserved. I hope that, that the new gym is beautiful, and I hope that y'all defend it as well as people have before you. Good bike. 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 Good night from Coakley Fieldhouse, home of the Blue Jays.